this episode, I'm going to talk about my broken hand here. I am week three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm at week three. So I'm at week three here, and I am doing a lot better. It is. It looks a lot better. This is a splint on the bat on the bottom here, and then the top is um, just bandage. And if you look here, you'll notice I have uh, this. It's not a gauze, and uh, it's not that thick actually. Um, what I'm doing is I'm wearing some uh, wrist uh, bandage or wrist uh, sweatbands. I'm wearing I'm wearing sweatbands. That's what this is. This is a uh, sweatband here, and I'm wearing a brace on here, and um, did it over the bandage. I find that very more comfortable. It feels like a gauze in here. You can kind of see and allows me to do that. And I notice if I do this, it um, my hand goes like this. It's together. Without without it, it would, my pinky would just stick out like that. Kind of weird, but now I can do that. So uh, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to show you um, my hand here. I'm going to show you the scars. It is, it is a lot better. Like, I can do a lot of things. It, I still have some issues, though. I, my my hand and my wrist is still stiff but I'm gonna go ahead and just take it off here so let's see if I can do this on camera so while I'm doing this oh yeah there we go and I'll show you what I'm doing I just find wearing the sweatbands make it a lot easier and uh, there you go so here's the splint there's the splint, so uh, bandage. I have an extra pair, but I haven't used it yet. Still using the original here. So it kind of goes something like this. And this fits a lot better. And you can see my sweatbands here. This is how I have my sweatbands. I even wear sweatbands up here. I have one, two, three sweatbands. And I just find it just, it's really comfortable because you don't want this, um, this up against your skin after a while. It really gets uncomfortable. I actually don't need it. If I wore it just like this, if I wore the, the wrist brace right here, um, that's just because my wrist was very stiff. So having it on really helped me move it. But you, if you look here, I can do a lot. Um, and wearing the sweat band here on my, the broken bone is here, the fifth and fourth metacarpal. But uh, just wearing the uh, sweat band up here, yeah, I could actually feel feel like it's being supported. I can actually feel the two plates as I'm moving my hand. Um, before, I had my my like this this finger right here. I can't do, I cannot do the, you know, Vulcan peace sign. It just it just won't move. I can't, but I can do this. And I guess that's more important than doing the Vulcan peace sign. I guess I could do I could do the dog. Ruff, 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 ruff. The shadows right there, but you know, you get the point. Ruff, 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 ruff. Anyways, that's about all I can do. Um, but this is what I've been doing. It it just fits more comfortably because you know when the doctor uh, made this splint, I was in a gauze. You know, I was all gauzed up here, and so it, this feels actually very very comfortable. And the the sweat band doesn't rub up against the splint here, so very nice anyways that's that uh, here's the wrist brace i've had this for a while uh, i originally had it when i injured my thumb on my bike oh, but i didn't break my thumb anyway so this is the uh what is this branded ace got this at walmart let me see what is it ace wrist brace i guess got it at walmart really inexpensive but here's the cheap sweat bands wrist sweat bands oh here here's my hand right here there it is oh, I, was, I try to throw up an x-ray to kind of show you but uh, it's healing up looks good I can actually move my hand um, this is week three all right um, without the uh, I'll be honest with you honest with you without the the plates and the screws in my hand, I probably can't do this. It's still swollen. You can kind of see the swelling. 
like right around here it's swelling um, but considering oh that's that's amazing I can do this much when I first if you've seen my original video uh, like here's my hand and here's my right hand and my left hand you could you could clearly see my knuckles here here you can't even you can barely see my knuckles you know big difference in size too look how much my right hand is a lot bigger than my left hand unless I move this up closer then it kind of matches up but if I put them the same you notice my right hand is a lot bigger a lot bigger anyways um, this you see I could do this no problem when I first like the second week after the doctor took off all this I can barely like do this uh, after moving it around I'm on my third week and supposedly the uh, the bones should be on a soft soft callus so there should be some bone starting to form very soft callus and it should be kind of should be maybe that's why it's swelling a little and bulging a little um, it should be forming a, a very soft callus around where the fracture is uh, there's some fractures up here and down here this one is more down here on the lower part of my metacarpal here you can see it's very big swelling here but I can actually do this and that's about it I can't fully I can't fully close it you see this is about all I can do I can't get in there all the way this is it it just won't go all the way you see I, I can do that I this is it these two right here that's about far as I go this these two fingers can go all the way but but at least I can do this now before I couldn't I couldn't barely do this I could just do this now I can close it and uh, uh, I gotta stretch the tendons the tendons feel very stiff and very tight so I gotta stretch the tendons I gotta kinda do this and I can really feel the the tendons pull in here uh, another thing and I'll try to uh, take these off now so I wear three uh, basically wrist sweatbands and uh, one here one here and then one here and that covers the, the splint um, the other thing is pushing like this like this uh, really I don't know why but my tendons here feel really tight and sore so I gotta every now and then just push out on this I gotta stretch my hand I gotta stretch my hand and it, and it gets really it gets really um, tight it really does it really gets tight and so I gotta stretch it out you know I gotta do like this kind of exercise but at least I can do it and uh, the nurse when, when she took the gauze and the bandage off and the, and the splint off she was actually surprised that I can actually just do this and turn my wrist the wrist was really stiff I think it had to do with the tendons um, you know when they cut when they cut me open they're they're pulling the tendons and then that's how they're getting to my bone and they're drilling holes in my bone and putting plates and everything and so that's probably why the tendons are really stiff here and they probably just just need some time to to stretch out that's what I think they just need some time to stretch out uh, anyway so this is my third week and that's how it looks it's not that bad actually um, looks bad but uh, considering this is my third week and I'm it, it takes about six weeks to completely heal and probably more you know to stretch the tendons and get back to actually using it um, I can't quite grip I can grip this and I can squeeze it but when it comes to squeezing and grabbing an actual like object object it's very hard especially these two fingers very hard it's not a hundred percent but I, I can use my hand so I'm actually pretty glad I did get the surgery and um, even though you know I got scars and I got a plate and screws here I got six and six screws here I got 12 screws in my hand I'm actually very happy because I can actually do things like this and uh, my recovery seems to be going along a lot faster I'm very satisfied 
um, you'll you'll have scars, but it's better than having a crooked hand. Like this one was, uh, the bone was. I can feel the bone right here. This one, it's it's. I I can feel the plate actually now, but the bone was popping out or sticking, kind of sticking out, not sticking out of the skin. But you could I could see the bone right here. So it was fractured like this, and and then this was going like that. Um, that would have been, you know, that would have been a weird. You know, if it, if I didn't do a surgery, it would have been really strange to uh, with my pinky finger. I can't quite. You see what I'm talking about? I can't quite get it all the way. Like, see with my left, I can really get to it. With my right, I can't quite get to it. So that's why I wear. Sometimes I'll take it off and I, and I wear this, and then now I can, I can get to it a lot better. Like this one's dead. It can't move at all. I guess over time it will it'll come back. I mean, I'm assuming it comes back. So sometimes when I'm not wearing anything, I'll have at least this on, and I can feel the I can feel it pushing right here. And you know, I'm just and it, and plus this kind of acts as a little area for me to squeeze because I can't I just can't I just can't get in there in that last that last bit of area. I just can't get in there. It's just won't stretch but if I have this I can get in there and I can kind of squeeze and and stretch the tendons out I can move it around and that's kind of what I've been doing um, has it been a struggle not really but you know at least I can use my hand it's better than not having the surgery and not being not be able to like move your fingers so let me uh, put this back on I'll do I'll put it put it back on so now sometimes I don't put the uh, wrist band or the wrist brace on, and uh, I'll show you how I do that. I just simply just don't put the wrist brace on, right? <laughs> That's all I do. Uh, but sometimes, uh, sometimes I do. It depends. It depends how my wrist feels. If it feels, uh, you know, really achy, sometimes it does feel achy. I will. Uh, I'll put the wrist brace on. If it doesn't, um, I'll just do it like this. And then, of course, uh, I gotta put this on. Like that and and also this the wrist the sweatband covers the uh, covers up the scarring right here so I don't accidentally scratch it all up so see I can just do this it doesn't scratch it up so I'll do this and then you know forego the the brace and then just go right on here it's nice to have the brace because it's it feels a little loose but with the with the sweatbands that's it still works. So I, I get it like this and I make sure this is right about here. It works perfect right about here so it doesn't rub up against my skin. Um, what I do is I usually I, I'll take this to just to hold it in place. There we go. I got it. Just use this finger. And then I want to cover. I want to cover this whole thing here. that and come up here do something like that I might actually do it tighter but maybe not tight I actually prefer it just a little tight just because uh, that way, it feels like it's compressing against the. Uh, oh, it's already come apart, but there we go. Here, I'll adjust it like that. There we go. Move it around. Didn't do it so well. It's hard to do it on camera, but something like something like this, and that way, when I when I do this, it compresses, it compresses, and I feel like it's going straight. So. That's how what I would do it without the uh, wrist brace, and that works too. Oh, I was a little bit over. Come here, there we go. So it does something like this. So when I move it around, it doesn't rub up against my skin. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna conclude this episode. I'm on my third week, and um, I'm very happy I got the surgery. If you have a chance to do surgery and get scrapes, um, scrapes, uh, plates and screws into your bone. I know it takes a little bit longer. You extend the, 
the the whole healing process, but you can actually start doing a lot more because without it, um, I would just have I would just be like this, you know. I'd be using like I could bear I would like barely be moving these two fingers, and I'd be using these two to like pick stuff up and do stuff. Uh, with with the surgery again, I can just I can just literally. I don't really need the splint. It does. I don't think I need the splint because I feel like, you know, I can do stuff. I just can't lift heavy stuff, but I can pick stuff up. I can kind of squeeze. I can hold stuff, you know, um, not a hundred percent like my, you know, like I can't squeeze hard, but at least I can hold stuff, use my both hands, hold something here while I'm doing stuff. It, it, you know, I, I don't even really need this splint or anything. I could just walk around just like, just keep it still and the plates and screws will hold it. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode just giving you a progress. Uh, please like, share, comment, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.